What's hey up? Guys. Good morning, everybody. Um, so this morning, Saturday morning, we are going on a record hunting adventure. Yeah. Um, something that we've been doing together um, since probably about 2011. Yeah, like late 2010, early 2011 when we got together. Yeah. So it was, uh, you know, I had collected a little. Um, I never had a record you know player until we got together but like i always had like a thing about vinyl and um yeah i think when um we got together i found like this little stack of records that you had yeah and i was like oh what are these and you're like oh i, I like to collect these but i don't have a player so i think it was our first christmas together i yeah. bought miranda a record player yep and then um, that just stemmed uh, it was after that know, it was just um it became an obsession we um started uh going to you know record stores and flea markets and all these mm -hmm. little places anywhere we could find that had vinyl and just collecting our favorite stuff so yeah and it's i don't know there's something so satisfying um about like finding that like the albums that you like on vinyl yeah. and like I know you know some of you guys that do collect vinyl know what I'm talking about but it's just it's just so satisfying to find like your favorite favorite you know album on vinyl or like your you know your favorite like musicians catalog on Definitely. vinyl it just yeah especially like some of the older you know music that we're into like that's how it originally was that's you the know format. It, it wasn't was originally, originally on cd and on. so to have you know those imperfections and the pops and the, the, the different noises that like you get in like yeah. the old vinyl it's just it's just a really neat format and it kind of forces you to sit and listen and appreciate the whole album and so just something cool that we started doing so this morning we're actually going to go up to brunswick yep and, and uh, hit up a few spots there's um there's a big flea market there yep. there's um a record there's a, an independent record store and then there's also uh, a bull moose music oh yeah um, <laughs> we love bull moose which uh for you guys who don't know it's you know they sell music movies records video games collectibles they sell everything, everything so. and it's a you know a local thing they're mostly in maine and then there's a few in new hampshire yep. so we're excited um gotta get some gas and maybe some more coffee and we're gonna be on our way so we'll check back in with you in a few What's up everybody, we're back. Um, we just uh, left the flea market. Yep, just got out of the waterfront flea market. Um, there's a guy there, I think he calls himself the Vinyl Junkie. Yeah. And he's within the flea market and he's got just a killer selection of really clean, awesome yeah, stuff. Yeah, so you guys could kind of see in the, the clips we showed. And... Yeah, he's got some really cool stuff, always fun to talk to. Uh, he's got some stories about everything, like if you pick something up, He's like, oh yeah, I met that guy, or... I know the um, people, or like... Yeah, I went to that tour. I think he worked in radio. Yeah, and um, I think he did some stuff in, like, the music industry as yeah. well. You can't miss him. He sort of looks a little bit like Eddie Vedder, <laughs> which Most is pretty definitely. cool. Most um, definitely. But really nice guy. Always um, fun to go, and he has solid prices for really cool original stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's not, like... The majority is not re uh, they're not reissues they're original vinyl so right we actually picked up one thing that i'm pretty excited about we got the living color vivid um album from 1988 this which is was awesome. a really tough time to find vinyl right around the, the time that the cd boom they happened stopped maybe. really making as much yeah so i've never seen this on vinyl it's actually a radio promo copy if you can see down in the corner of that yellow box it's a W, oops, I'm sorry, uh, KLQ um, radio promo. 
and it's got the radio promo on the barcode on the back so it was a not for resale copy mm. which was neat um cult of personality um open letter to a landlord really great tracks on there um I love the bass on this record. It's mm. just, it's a really neat album. It's it a really actually, fun album. I just saw, I never knew this. It's actually produced by Mick Jagger. Which is interesting. So I have to Wikipedia that and see. I mean, if I, it's on the back of the album, it's obviously, well, obviously true. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's true, but I, I wonder if there's a story behind um, Right, or if he had Mick like Jagger. produced more records at yeah. that time. So if anyone knows, definitely comment and let us yeah. know like what the story was with Mick Jagger. And then, he like found them or something I don't know but. I found a couple of things um, I collect like old um, pinup advertisements um, and like anything like that that I can find um, you know where I'm a pinup photographer and like there's this guy there that usually has he always has like a bunch of like toys and comics but he also has like um, pieces of old advertisement and I found this really cool um these really cool old, um, like Betty a Page. Betty Page tear sheets here. They're from an original magazine, I think. Um, I can't remember what the name of the magazine was, but there's like a few. They were like little magazines. There's one that's um, was Whisper, and there they were like um, you know like this size magazine. Yeah. But this actually um, goes together. Like the top, it says "They Ain't No Gentlemen." Pretty cool. So I was really psyched to find those. Yes, yeah, so found some cool stuff there, and we're gonna go to a few more places. There's a place called uh, Finest Kind. Yeah. That there's a guy who repairs old radios and sells some vinyl. Yep. And then we're gonna check out Bull Moose. So. And then we're probably gonna get some food. Yeah, it's it's about time for lunch, so yeah. we're we're thinking don't, we'll do that. Don't want anybody getting hangry. We, we can't have we can't I have get hangry. hangry. Well, I, I get a little hangry, but. But not as bad as I do. But all right, guys, <laughs> we'll check back in. We'll check back. Yeah, right? He just came to town actually. Oh, this is cool. The graduate soundtrack. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. What's up, guys? Hey, guys, we're, we're back. back. Had some lunch. Yep. Uh, we went to a few more places. We went to uh, what's that place called? Finest Kind. Finest Kind. Yep. Um, the owner there is super nice. He um, we hadn't been in probably about five years. Yeah, it's been a while. So he showed us around. He's like, let me give you the dime tour and showed us where all the stuff is because nothing's really labeled or priced there. Mm. There's stuff alphabetically, but he kind of knows in his head like where all of the genres are right um, so he like walked us around the whole store gave us the rundown so that's really cool it is cool and they uh they also fix like old radios and like amps and stuff there, like yeah. the old tube radio so they have like a lot of that kind of stuff in there which is neat yeah um and so i found a couple of uh 45s there uh, cool stuff. first one i found is the Prince and the Revolution, the Kiss single. Which you don't see very often. Which you don't see very often. Um, his stuff is a lot harder to find nowadays since he passed. Yeah. Um, but I've I've always, even since I was a kid, been like mm. obsessed with Prince. And so I, I'm always like on the hunt for his stuff. Definitely. And then I found this, which I'm really psyched about. Um, this is early too. This is probably what, this, 70s? 73, this 73. David Bowie, um, the Space Odyssey 45, and the backside is the man who sold the world. It's really cool um, to have one vinyl. Again, you know, like, I've always, since a young age, been a huge fan of David Bowie, and, you know, ever since he passed away, you know, mm. his stuff is a lot harder to find, so I always try to, to scoop it up when I find it because it doesn't stick around very much. You get lucky with the 45 singles sometimes because they're harder to look through than regular records, so and, a lot of times, that you know, they're not easily labeled. and Right, um, and I find that I can find stuff a lot of times on 45s that you can't necessarily find the whole... Um, album of like yeah. I have um, some 45s from like the Black Crows and um, Guns N' Roses. Roses and uh, 
some of like the 90s bands of the stuff that came out in the 90s that it would be near impossible to find the yeah. entire album of yeah but you can sometimes find the 45s in there cheaper mm. than if you find the whole album like today we saw a um a pearl jam album which oh, yeah. you know you don't see very often because no. it's from the 90s but it's 50 dollars you know yeah. so it's Anytime you can find original Pearl Jam or Soundgarden or Nirvana or Alice in Chains, any of the grunge stuff on vinyl, it's always pricey. Which is great, uh, and we love, and sometimes we pick up, but it's like one of those things that you kind of have to have the budget for. Yeah, we'll like, like you know, set aside a budget knowing we're going to, you know, pull the trigger on something really cool like that that you can't really just go on a normal day and... Right, up, so. but it's not something you special can occasion, so. go out and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to spend 50 bucks on this one thing. So I found one more thing. I actually picked up In Your Honor by the Foo Fighters on CD. Um, this is one that kind of snuck by that I didn't get. I've heard most of this stuff, but um, never owned it. So it's actually a two uh, disc. I believe one was like an electric album and oh, then yeah, one was acoustic. like more acoustic and i think there might even be some strings and stuff on there so really cool to pick up love those guys um so i was stoked to find that um so yeah guys yeah uh, we're gonna uh, get some coffee yep. and uh head home head home and uh, relax for the rest of the day yeah, yeah. all right guys uh thanks for watching thanks for watching Right down to earth in a language that everybody here can easily understand.